Hey, I'm Dave, and this is... Zach from Inventables. Well, we got you here. Why don't you show me how to use Easel, some of the apps that it has, and make something with the cart. All right, let's do it. Awesome. All right, so um, this is Easel. Uh, it's the landing page. You can get to Easel either by going to easel.com or going to Inventables and clicking the Easel button at the top. And so Easel's free. Anyone can create an account. It's web software, so it stores all of your files online. Uh, and you can log in from anywhere. And this is your account, so we have like saved files and stuff like this. Yeah, so I'm logged in as myself here. And this is all of my the projects that I've been working on. What's your favorite project? I actually like this Metallica Star. It's a Metallica fidget spinner. Awesome. I'm a big Metallica <laughs> fan. And nice. uh, we can open that up. Customized to you. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you how I did this one. So um, I used the import feature, mm -hmm. and we did this thing called image trace. And now what this is going to do is let you upload a file. There's a bunch of different ways you can upload the file. So you can do it from your computer. So you can grab Locally. any any image. You can do it from Facebook, okay. Google Drive, Instagram. <laughs> You can search the web for images, so I wonder if we do Metallica Star. What happens? Oh yeah, wow. There we go. You can do it like that. That one looks pretty close. So this one, let's just try this one. Or the last one is, is you could type in the in URL, thing, so you yeah. can like paste the URL. Or you could actually take a picture. But, with webcam. Yeah, with webcam. But let's go to the, let's try it this way. So I clicked import, and so now we've imported my and talk a star over it. But so that gives us an opportunity to show you the workspaces. So this is actually a new thing that we've just added. You can collapse it or make it go bigger, but you can see, okay, so we've got the first star there. We do a second one here and I can, I can cut and then paste into a new workspace into a new workspace. Cool. And so now you see that right now it's brought in as a fill, which means that the bits going to try to fill all that up, but we can also do it as an outline. Mm -hmm. And you could say you want inside path, outside the path, or on the path. So I'm going to do outside. And then I went up here, and I, I didn't want a square because the bearing of the fidget spinner yep. is a circle. And you can go over to this menu. So this shows you like the depth, how deep you want to go. And then it also shows you the shape. So where on the canvas you want it yep. and how big. Actually, they're 22 millimeters. But down here you can uh, inches inches to metric. Well, I think what I did is I I made my star a little smaller. Oh, and then you covered it. I covered the. Uh, there you go. The square. So, and then I carved it out. We can do that next. <laughs> we'll do that now. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready to carve out the star. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the USB cord into my laptop. Get to go in the right direction there. And when I do that, what you're going to see is the carve button goes from blue to green. So it automatically identifies the carving. Yeah. And so that um, means that now we're connected. Also, it shows you that the lights are on. So obviously you turn the lights off, cool. the button's gonna go blue. And now start carving. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> Metal! Awesome. This was super easy and it works. We have a Metallica fidget spinner. How long did it take to carve this? I think it was about 12 minutes. Nice. Dude, super easy. Easel seems really awesome to use. All those little apps are great. Awesome. Let's see what people can make. Yeah, go out there. Thank you for watching. 
If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.